Dr. DiGennaro and Christina. Welcome to the Valder BB Show. I'll start off with you, Dr. DiGennaro. If you will set the medical platform for us and make my audience more aware. Well, certainly, Valder, the blood cancers, that's what we're here to talk about today. Leukemia, lymphoma, multiple myeloma. Uh, these are diseases that affect the cells in the blood. They affect the bone marrow. They affect the, uh, the lymph nodes. Uh, one of the biggest challenges with these diseases is we don't have a method for detecting them early. And so when patients get them, they present to their physician with a, with a full-blown disease. So the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society has set its sights on having therapies available, finding cures, finding therapies, and making certain that physicians have them so that, and that patients have access to cutting-edge edge therapies when they really need them. That's very startling to me that we do not have these things in place medically. Well, let me, let me give you a, a, a little bit of a, of a primer here. So an American is newly diagnosed with a blood cancer every three minutes. Um, th these diseases don't discriminate. They don't discriminate on the basis of age or gender or ethnic background. Anyone, anyone can get a blood cancer. When you take them together, the blood cancers, leukemia, lymphoma, multiple myeloma, they're the third largest cancer killer in the United States today. Now, I, I, I don't want to sound all doom and gloom. In fact, we've made great progress. We've taken childhood leukemia from a survival rate of 3% in the 1960s to nearly 90% survival today. And we've made many advances to treat the other blood cancers. But we haven't finished it yet. Uh, still, more than a third of blood cancer patients don't survive five years past their diagnosis. That's very sad. But we're going to talk about some new things on the horizon that I'm sure you know that mm -hmm. my audience can be inspired by. Christina, I'd like to hear your story. Sure. And um, I think it's one that is not a happy one, but I think it has a lot of hope in it. And I, that's why I'm here today. So I, my fiance, Dave, um, unfortunately and unexpectedly at the age of 26 was out of the blue diagnosed with leukemia. Um, and it was a very aggressive form. It was called acute myeloid leukemia, AML. Um, unfortunately, no matter what we did, uh, it kept coming back. And within six months, um, it just overtook his system and he succumbed to the complications from it and passed away. And I think that that in itself rocked my world like it does many people who've lost loved ones to cancer, but it inspired me to take action and to do something. I am just one person. I'm not a doctor, I'm not medically trained, but I needed to do something towards finding cures for this disease. And that's where I connected with the Leukemia Lymphoma Society, met with someone from my local chapter, went to their website, lls.org, and got informed on what I could do. And that led to multiple seasons of running half marathons and fundraising with team and training, um, walking in the light the night walk, and just helping out around the board to help bring awareness and to raise funds for cancer research, which is what the Leukemia Lymphoma Society does. I'm so very sorry for your loss, but I'm so inspired by the way you have taken action, you have taken control, you have taken over something that tried to control your life. Thank you. I thank you for sharing your story. You're welcome. Doctor, let me ask you, we've heard her story. Mm -hmm. How can people parlay this into something better, especially if you're listening to the Valder BB show, which we yes. have a worldwide audience, and I'm sure someone out there has a loved one or a friend or a relative or themselves that understand this a mm -hmm. lot better than I do. Yes. Well, Valder, there, there are lots of ways. As, as I mentioned, we're making great progress. Um, if, if there is someone in your audience who uh, is a patient or a caregiver, uh, they should definitely come to our website, lls.org, or pick up the phone and, and give our Information Resource Center a call. We're there to help. We have uh, all the best information. We can help guide patients and support them. Uh, if you want to help us fight these diseases, you know, we, we've, I mentioned we've made great progress. Uh, last year alone, we helped pioneer what was called the scientific breakthrough of the year, um, a therapy called immunotherapy. This uses the patient's own immune system to find and attack and eliminate the cancer. And as I said, we pioneered it, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society pioneered it in the blood cancers, but I can tell you, Valder, it's now being tested in 
many other kinds of cancer, breast cancer, colon cancer, prostate cancer, even something as intractable as pancreatic cancer. So we're making great progress. We've got to continue. We want to continue to raise funds, support that research, and really close the gap for all the rest of the diseases. Acute myeloid leukemia, the disease that uh, Christine's fiance passed from, is one that we haven't been able to successfully treat yet. The society has created a completely new program called Beat AML. And through that program, we're going to raise funds, target it to AML research, and develop new therapies uh, to treat that disease. I want to thank you both for sharing this information and giving such enlightening testimonies and medical information. Once again, what's that website? I want to make sure everyone has that, doctor. <laughs> Um, the, the website is lls.org. That's mm -hmm. lls.org. Well, we, like Christina said, we may not be doctors or medical people, but I think we all can participate in some way to help this be less impacting and to maybe find a cure. I want to thank you for being my guest on the Valder Beebe Show. You guys are my interview of the day. I loved what you told me. Thank you thank for you your so help, much. Valder. Thank you.